For so long, it was such a crazy seller's market with multiple offers, bidding wars, and homes selling over asking price, sometimes by $100,000 or even more. But with the rising interest rates, the housing market slowed down. The number of mortgage applications in the last week of 2022 was the lowest in the past 20 years, according to the Mortgage Bankers Association. The average mortgage interest rates were about 6.52% by the end of 2022, nearly double than it was just a year ago. It cost a lot more for buyers to buy a same house than it did a year ago. Real estate is local, however, so when you are listening to the housing market news on the national television, we need to keep in mind that it doesn't apply to all areas of the country. There is no national market, but there are definitely trends that we can see. The value of everything depends on two things, supply and demand. When interest rates rise, it costs the buyers more to buy that home. And when rates go up significantly, it really affects affordability. A lot of buyers exited the market, the demand went down and prices started to slide. When rates go up, prices typically come down. And when rates come down, prices go up. So let's check out the statistics in our neck of the woods and see how the rising interest rates affect our sale, our inventory, and ultimately the housing prices right here in the Treasure Valley. But before we get started, my name is Judith Kreis, owner broker with Top Idaho Real Estate, selling homes in the valley for the past two decades and bringing you the local real estate market updates every month so you can keep your eyes on the local real estate market to help you make educated decisions when buying or selling. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so and click that bell to get notified when our new videos come out. So let's see those numbers for Boise, Meridian, Eagle and the rest of Ada County, followed by Canyon County, and see how we finished 2022 and what we can expect for this year. We listed 499 homes for sale in Ada County in December, 21% fewer than this time last year, and 28% fewer than the previous month. As you can see, the median listing price for these homes was $520,000, 5% lower than this time last year, and 8% lower than the previous month. We had a total of 2,586 homes for sale this time last year, but the number of available homes went down by 37% to 1,629, December of 2022. As you see, the inventory is significantly going down. Last time the numbers were under 2,000 was during a couple of winter months three years ago. We had a total of 547 homes that went under contract last month, 30% fewer homes than a year ago this time, and 11% fewer than the previous month. The median number of days it took for these homes to go under contract was 24 days a year ago, December, while it took 43 days a month ago this November, and it went up to 57 days just last month. 623 home sales closed in December, down 39% from a year ago, December, and up 1% month over month. The median sales price was $500,000 this December, 5% lower than a year ago, but remained the same as it was this last November. And now let's take a look at the numbers for Canyon County. We listed 260 homes for sale in Canyon County in December, 43% fewer than this time last year and 28% fewer than the previous month. As you can see, the median listing price for these homes was $387,000, a 16% decrease year over year, and a 9% decrease month over month. We had a total number of available homes of 959, down 37% from a year ago December. We had a total of 330 homes that went under contract last month, 26% fewer than this time last year, but 13% more than just a month ago. Home sales actually picked up in December. The median number of days it took for homes to have an accepted offer and go under contract a year ago was 28 days in Canyon County. It took 46 days a month ago, and it increased to 74 days just this December. So it's taking a little longer, but homes still sell relatively fast. 334 home sales closed in December, a 40% decrease year over year, but a 3% increase month over month. The median sales price was $390,000 in November, 5% lower than this time last year, and 5% lower than just a month ago. 
As you saw in the numbers, we do not have inventory. It is pretty tight out there. A lot of homeowners who are sitting pretty on their 2 to 3% loans decided to wait out the market and took their homes off the market or simply decided not to sell at this time. Also, home builders slowed down with building new construction homes. The number of building permits went down as well. And if the inventory is low, prices will only go down so far. Idaho's real estate market is cyclical. It is slow during the winter, but picks up in the spring and summer. And if we don't have more homes going on the market because of the reasons we just talked about, yet spring fever starts and likely more people moving into the Treasure Valley, even if prices don't go up, they will likely stabilize. We had several buyers contacting us already the past few months, planning their move this spring and searching for their new homes. So what can we expect in the near future? The current inflation rate is 7.11% as of December 13th, with a new number being released in a couple of days on the 12th of January. It is expected to come in lower, but the Fed expressed it several times that their main focus is to lower inflation to the ideal 2% inflation rate. The unemployment rate went down from 3.7% to 3.5% in December, and the economy is going relatively strong. So it will be interesting to see what the Fed is going to do at their next meeting at the end of this month. Will they raise the interest rates, leave them alone, or lower them? I heard from quite a few people lately that they expect rates to go down, but personally, I don't see that happening in the near future. The Fed lowers rates when the economy needs a boost, and right now, it is going pretty strong. The Fed's primary focus is lowering inflation, which is happening, but still far from that 2% goal. A lot of people consider our market a buyer's market. Buyer's market is when supply exceeds demand, so when inventory is high and there are plenty of homes for sale, but there is a shortage of interested home buyers, giving them leverage over the sellers. As you saw, we listed 499 homes for sale in Ada County last month, and 547 homes actually went under contract. And the pattern is the same in Canyon County, with 260 homes being listed and 330 going under contract. Buyers still have more power, don't get me wrong. Motivated sellers are more negotiable and are giving concessions to buyers like buying down the buyer's mortgage rates, paying closing costs, but our inventory is actually shrinking and buyers don't have many options. I guess it's good news, bad news. I take it as more of a good news as prices are not crashing, just adjusting. We cannot predict the future, but I don't see it as all doom and gloom. I expect interest rates going up further and the supply of homes going down even more. So if you are on the sideline thinking about buying a home, it would be smart to do it sooner than later. Buy now before inventory is getting tighter and rates go higher. You can always refinance later, just make sure you can afford the monthly mortgage payments. You can negotiate rate buy-down with the seller and some lenders and banks are now offering either discounted refinance costs and I heard some of them even offer it for free should rates go down in the next couple of years. There is a saying coming up more and more lately, date the rate and marry the home. And if you are thinking about selling and moving into a new home, well, the time of the crazy home prices are gone. You missed that boat. So just be realistic with your asking price and adjust it to the current market. On the bright side, if you sell low, you buy low as well. So you just need to look at it as you are moving your equity from one house to the next one that better fits your needs and wants. Also, with the slower market, your contingent offer will likely be accepted on the home you really want to buy. If you are renting, well, rent prices are not going down. Okay, maybe a little lately, but keep in mind that this time of the year, nobody likes to move. And with the purchase affordability issue, rents likely will not go down more, but up. Rents are taking away the disposable income out of the renter's budget, and rents go up just about every year. When you buy a house, you are locking in one of your largest expenses. If you are waiting for both house prices and rates to come down, you will have to pick your poison. As if rates come down, prices will go up. And if rates go up, prices will come down. And as we saw in the numbers, due to the tightening inventory, a price decrease will likely not be significant in the valley. It is important to keep in mind that real estate needs to be considered a long-term investment. That is true whether you are purchasing a property to rent out or buying a home to live in. The purchase should not be considered in terms of what might happen over the next six months, but rather what might happen over the next 10 to 20 years. People have always bought and sold homes, good market or bad. The key is 
you have to think long term. Home values go up and down, but they tend to rise over time. Buying real estate has traditionally been viewed as a safe investment. I'm really curious what you think is going to happen right here in the Treasure Valley in 2023. I'll see you next month, but before you go, make sure to click that thumbs up button and subscribe to get notified when our new videos come out. Until next time, I hope to see you around town. This is Judith Kreis, broker owner of Top Idaho Real Estate, providing real value in a changing world.